It's 11.30 on a Friday night, and I traveled back from Garmisch, Germany today, and then thought it might be a good idea to get in my car and drive four and a half hours all the way up to the Chianti area in the Tuscan region. I didn't want to cancel because I'd already paid for my hotel nights and was planning to pick up a few boxes to add to my collection before I leave in August. So um, I'm here, and it's pretty amazing, the apartment that I accidentally rented. And I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like outside in the morning. I'm going to go for a run and then find three or four wineries to hit and add a few bottles to my collection. Okay, so this is the view for my apartment window. And I think I'll walk out and go find some cafe and check out what the town looks like. This place is really quiet. No scooters and no cars trying to kill me as I walk down the street. All right, it's Saturday morning and I'm in Gaiola in Chianti. And it's already started out to be not that great a day because I didn't wake up and run. And then I had some cafe and a cornetto, so I'm just a big busted can of biscuits. I don't know what's happening behind me. This is the main Catholic church here in Gaoli and Chianti. And even though it's Saturday, I think this counts for attending mass in case my mom asks. It's time to get back in the car and go find some wineries and geocaches. All right, I've decided it's a top-down kind of day. It's over 60 degrees, and I am sweating bullets. So Luigi and I are gonna be rolling with the top down. Woohoo! All right, first things first, I'm going to pull over and try to pick up a geocache, and this is where the GPS brought me up on a hillside. So it's a great view. And for those of you who don't know what geocaching is, it's a worldwide scavenger hunt where people hide things, and then you go and find them. I'll see if I can find it and then show you what I'm talking about. Um, even the parking areas are beautiful here. Look at Luigi up in a hilltop in Chianti area in the Tuscan region. Here you can see a small lake off to the right. And then this little town that I pulled over in is a small walled medieval town. Not sure how old it is yet. I'll go down and look at the sign. So pretty such a clear and beautiful day. I stumbled across a small winery just out here in the hills. I thought I was, actually I thought I was lost for a second and turned around about six times within 10 meters. But I'm here and I hope they open at 10 because it's about five minutes till. It's an absolutely gorgeous um, vineyard behind me if you can see it. All right, so before my gal gets here at one o'clock, I'm gonna to try to hit up one more winery and collect a few more bottles. At this point I have 18 and it's just after 11 a.m. So I'm gonna to try to grab some more and then I need to figure out where we're gonna have lunch because yesterday was Friday and unintentionally I did not eat meat. I only ate bread and sugar, no alcohol. So I'm running on just bread and sugar and cafe right now and it's almost lunchtime so before I pass out. I need to figure out what we're going to do for lunch, but first more wine. Just driving around and I've stumbled across this place. I'm going to run in, see what they've got. It looks amazing. Castello de Ama turns out to be a place where there's a, an Enoteca. We could do a wine tasting with our lunch. So I'm waiting for Miguel to show up so we can do that. And in the meantime, I'm having a glass of rosé. So I'll likely buy a few cases from here and that'll knock out lunch and a few more boxes. Um, it's a really nice place. I'll try to take some more pictures.
so it's Sunday morning and we are still in the Chianti region and we pulled over at this place that looks like a castle. It sits up on this hill and this is the view that you get when you're up here. But it's a very cool castle, I'll show you. This is the courtyard area in terms of Miguel. I think it's supposed to be a restaurant. There's some seating and stuff. just had lunch at this amazing restaurant as I make my way back to Naples and before I left I decided to check to see if there was a geocache nearby and there was straight up this hill and here it is holy cow apparently in September of 2016 there was a battle here um, fought over medieval Siena and there was an army under the command of the Florentines and they suffered a happy heavy defeat at the hands of Siena um, this has actually been written about in Dante's Divine Comedy, referring to it as the agony and the great carnage that colored the Arbia Red. So on top of this hill, overlooking the battlefield lies adorned with cypress trees, this pyramid memorial already present in the Romanesque period. Inside the cache, I found a brief reconstruction of the progress of the battle, which was very interesting. So actually one of my favorite geocaches and my 50th geocache. Nerd. Okay, I'd say I had a successful weekend. I ended up with 72, 72 bottles of wine, mostly all Chianti Classicos, and then some higher reserve uh, types. Really excited. Beautiful day out here on Sunday, and I'm going to go ahead and head back to Naples and get ready for another work week. Ciao!